Hey guys, this is Karen from Curl House. I'm a licensed cosmetologist and I am a certified trichologist. So that just means I specialize in hair loss as well. And today we are gonna talk about some of the things that you should consider before you get your sister locks or your traditional locks or even your micro locks established if you are dealing with hair loss. So before we get started, take a moment to subscribe to my page and turn on your notifications, turn on that bell so you don't miss a video. I'm on several social media sites uh, dedicated to sister locks, establishing sister locks, women who are dealing with thinning hair or fine hair in sister lock establishments. And I see a lot of questions about what to do about hair loss with sister locks. So as a trichologist, of course, hair loss is uh, near and dear to my heart. I wanted to jump on this video to just give you uh, a few tips on what to do if you are dealing with hair loss and you want sister locks. So as you can tell, I do have sister locks. I have had sister locks. It has been 11 months now. So I said for my one year anniversary next month in March, I will do a video on my sister lock journey. It has been fabulous. But on this video, I want to talk about hair loss and sister lock establishments. And let me give you a disclaimer. I'm not a certified sister lock tician. I'm not certified. Uh, I have sister locks, but I'm not certified to do sister locks. So I just wanted to give you that disclaimer because I believe in staying in my lane. So anyway, I'm going to give you some tips, but I'm going to use myself as the example. I am dealing with a form of hair loss. Now, believe it or not, uh, I say believe it or not because most people can't tell, uh, in my uh, hair loss practice, I share with my clients that I too have a hair loss disorder and most of them just don't believe me, uh, but I do. I have what's known as female pattern hair loss. So female pattern hair loss is a form of genetic hair loss in which your part line pretty much starts to get thinner and finer, thinner and finer. Your part line starts to get wider over time. And the area uh, in the vertex or the top of your hair, your hair follicle, the growth of that hair follicle starts to slow down. So the hair doesn't grow as fast and the, the hair strand starts to get smaller. So that area starts to get thinner. And that's the type of uh, hair loss that I um, am treating and I say am treating because it is genetic so because it's genetic is something that I'll always have to deal with but it's something that's treatable and you can tell because look I have sister locks and I feel like my hair looks fabulous and most people can't tell that I'm dealing with this form of hair loss but I am and I always uh, tell my clients like when 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 you're speaking to other people who may be dealing with hair loss even if you can't tell that the person is dealing with hair loss don't minimize it because even though it may not look obvious to you it is definitely obvious to the person so I want to show this picture of me which may help you to see a little bit more of what my hair actually looks like in the vertex. So here's a picture. You can tell that my, my hair is, is in braids. So this is how I prep my hair uh, before I cleanse it. But anyway, my hair is in braids. So you can tell that the braids that are, are right in the front are super small. So here are a few pictures. This just shows that I don't have as many hair strands in the top. In that section, you can compare the top part to the back parts of my hair, so you can clearly see the difference. So I wanted to show that picture so that you can better see what my hair actually looks like. The top part, it is, it's not as long as you can tell, as it's not as thick as everything else. You can probably tell more so in the picture, that's why I showed it. But because I'm a hairstylist, I know what to do with my hair. I know how to make camouflage my hair, blend my hair to make it look thicker and fuller. Uh, prior to getting sister locks, I cut my hair in layers just to make it blend because this part of my hair is shorter than everything else. It will probably always be shorter than the rest of my hair. So I just cut it in layers to blend it. But 
what I wanted to tell you is that before I started the sister locks, I had to deal with my own hair loss. So about a year and a half ago, I realized that my hair was thinning out in the top. But hold on, wait a minute. Before a year and a half ago, um, all throughout life, maybe at about age 20 and above, I noticed I had a relaxer and I noticed that the top part of my hair was just getting thinner and shorter. It got to the point that I had to wear, um, had to cut a bang. So here's a picture of what I looked like. I don't know, maybe I was uh, 25, 26. Uh, my hair was relaxed and the top part of my hair had gotten so short and thin where I had to wear a bang. So this was my signature style for years. And I just thought, oh, my hair just grows slower in the top. It doesn't grow as fast in the top. And I just thought, that was, that was just my hair. I thought that was normal. So at some point I stopped relaxing my hair. I attributed my, my hair thinning because at that time my hair started to thin out a lot. It was still long. It was just thin. I attributed it to the relaxer. Uh, and I cut my hair off and that's when I went natural about maybe 10, 11 years ago. I went natural and my hair just flourished when it was natural. Thicker, full, healthy hair, but the top part of my hair was still shorter than everything else. Um, it was growing, it just wasn't growing as fast, but again, I just thought that was normal. So imagine my surprise, about a year and a half ago, the top part of my hair had completely thinned out. You could completely see through it. But unlike what I do professionally, I take pictures of other people's hair, and I take pictures of my own hair. I wasn't thinking about it in a professional sense, like this is what I do for a living, so maybe I should document this journey. I didn't do that. I just, I, I dealt with it. I styled it differently. Here are some of the styles. I would constantly pull it off my face. I would braid it. I would do styles that would, that would camouflage the hair loss, so you couldn't see it. But I knew it was there. And at that time, I recently became a trichologist, so I started to suspect that I actually had uh, uh, there was an underlying disorder. It was more than just my hair grows slow at the top. I realized that I actually did have a form of hair loss, which is the female pattern hair loss. So when I realized I had the female pattern hair loss, even though I'm a trichologist, it's still important for me to get a second opinion. I went to my friend who's a trichologist and she just kind of confirmed what I already knew that I had female pattern hair loss. So what I had to do, I had to address the problem first. At that time, this was in 2018, I knew I wanted sister locks, but I also knew that I could not get sister locks knowing that I had a hair loss disorder that was not stabilized. So for you out there, if you are interested in getting sister locks or any type of locks in general, you have to first stabilize your hair loss disorder first before doing anything else stabilize your hair loss disorder. So when I, see, when I say stabilize, I mean get help, get treatment, see a trichologist who specializes in hair loss. There are even some trichologists that specialize in hair loss and specialize in sister locks. I know one personally, uh, but I'm in the Richmond, Virginia area, but I know one personally who specializes in hair loss and sister locks. So, and there are countless trichologists out there. Uh, so look up a trichologist, someone who can help you stabilize your hair loss, get treatment for it. That's most important is to get it stabilized. So at this point with my hair, yes, I do have a hair loss disorder, but yes, I'm treating it. And it's something that I treat regularly. It's now a part of my lifestyle. I treat it through uh, proper eating, minimizing sugar, drinking more water, exercising, using uh, drops in my scalp to strengthen the scalp. So it's several things that I do on a regular basis to continue to treat it, but it is treatable. It may not be curable, but it is treatable. So my number one recommendation for you women out there who may be dealing with hair loss and want sister locks, treat it first before for getting sister locks and that's what I tell all of my clients I have had now four or five clients who I have treated for their hair loss disorders we have stabilized their scalps their hair is regrowing and they have went in and have gotten sister locks so I'll show you a few pictures 
um, of them at some point. I'll talk about their journeys more um, in detail, but I just wanted to show you a few pictures of some of my clients who are now in locks, uh, micro locks and sister locks because their hair loss disorder is treated. Now this video was this video was really inspired by some of the social media community groups that I'm on that are geared towards sister locks, sister locks for women with fine and thinning hair. Um, I see a lot of comments on the social media groups about hair loss and what to do when you have locks and you have sister locks. So I am going to do a video that's more specific to those who are currently locked and their hair is um, thinning and they're currently locked. This video is primarily to encourage those who have uh, thinning hair to get the hair treated before going into the locks. Now, there's a difference between hair that is thin and a difference between hair that is thinning. To me, those words mean two completely different things. Thin hair can mean the texture of your hair. Texture of your hair can be fine. So fine hair, it's um, the hair strand is very small, and then there's medium, and then a larger hair strand is considered coarse. So when some people say thin, they could be referring to the texture, fine hair, or they could be referring to the overall density of hair, just how much hair you have. Now, Thinning hair, that word to me means actively thinning, meaning it is thinning now. That's what I want you to be aware of before going into a style like sister locks or locks. If it's thinning, get the treatment first. That is important. Now, I am all for women with uh, hair loss disorders to get sister locks, of course, everyone's situation is different definitely you would consult with the sister loctician consult with your stylist consult with your trichologist everyone's situation is different but if if you have a hair loss disorder i personally think sister locks or or lock sister locks or micro locks are awesome for people whose hair is either fine thin or you have a hair loss disorder because sister locks over time the hair gets thicker and thicker and a lot of times it camouflages your hair loss disorder if you have one so sister locks go through i believe it's four stages of locking and the first stage of locking is called the pre-lock phase and that's like the baby phase where the hair is thin and it looks thin, uh, the appearance of it kind of looks linear, and then it goes through a second stage, the teen stage or teenager stage, the budding stage, where during this process, um, it's like a, I think they call it a pee in the pot. The hair does start to interlock a little bit more. It starts to bud. Um, uh, the, the, your hair starts to get longer. The hair is no longer longer. The hair, excuse me, is no longer tight and thin in the teen stage. It's budding. And then the adult stage or the, the shooting phase where the hair starts to get fuller and fuller and it starts, it starts the process of interlocking and matting. And then in the elder phase, this is where you've had locks for several years. These are your elder or mature locks. So during this, during this phase, the hair definitely gets thicker and fuller and fuller. So that's why I am a, my, I am a cheerleader for those who are dealing with hairless, hair loss disorder to consider sister locks just because of the stages it goes through and the hair looks thicker and it really does camouflage uh, your hair loss disorder. So I just wanted to reach out and just give you my opinion about uh, whether or not you should get sister locks if you are thinning and when to get them. Again, manage the disorder first. Okay, until we talk again, stay fabulous.